today's session is on a cyber security roadmap for beginners well uh, it, it is something like you want to understand like what is cyber security and what are uh, what are the fields domains skills that i need to learn and so many other things other uh, questions as a beginner will come to your mind but uh, the similar thing uh, comes to your mind when you think like i have to go into software development so what is there in software development front end back end uh, what i need to learn is it the python java or everything that i need to learn right so you will have lots of questions when you are starting your career or still you are in college and figuring out like where you should go so uh, this platform this webinar will give you uh, the brief about it's like 10000 uh, fit overview about cyber security roadmap where i will discuss lots of things related to uh, what courses you should go for what are the certifications available what are the skills that uh, you should learn and what are all the different divisions are there in uh, cyber security side like cyber security is something you can say like uh, an uh, engineering department itself and in between like you have uh, more than 50 subjects right so similar way we have lots of things under security you might have heard bug bounty penetration tester ethical hackers uh, web application right cloud security so it's like an umbrella so uh, let's just start with this so i am sanjeev uh, i am having almost 12 years of experience in this industry and my major work uh, revolves around application security and cloud security i am not a full time developer but in security uh, i have to write a code for either security automation or for different kind of pocs so my choice of language is python by now uh, 10 years back it was perl and my areas of interest is uh, to launch or to understand more about devsec ops culture and then do some kind of cloud security automation and uh, let help people or community about all these so teaching is my passion and that's the reason i am here today as well in case you guys want to follow me you can follow me on twitter and linkedin uh, this is the link so what is the agenda for today what we are going to cover well uh, it is just an awareness session so don't expect that i will be explaining all the things which comes under uh, cyber security in detail uh, not even uh, uh, the definitions and other part like for example if you are looking what is spam what is phishing what is ransomware so this session is not for that this there is another session that uh, we are planning where we can cover like cyber security basics but it is just an road map it's not even uh, cyber security skills or something so here uh, we'll explain you what actually cyber security is what are all the common skill sets that uh, you should learn some of them are mandatory and some of them are like recommendation so what covers under a cyber security umbrella what are all the different job profiles are available in the market and uh, uh, you will see like lots of people talk about certifications especially in the security part right so i am trying to cover with one slide about that like what are all the different certifications you have i will not explain in detail but i will give you the hint like from where you can go ahead and what are all the uh, the starting books from where you can start learning cyber security and to understand more about this okay so let's go and see uh, for whom it is so if you are a college student you are a fresher uh, i consider like anything below 2 years as a fresher or you want to switch into cyber security division uh, from different it field maybe you are interested into cyber security or you are curious like what's there in cyber security you are already working in some domain like you are working as a pen tester you are working as a cloud security but you want to understand what are all the different other job profiles available in cyber security and skill sets required for that right so uh, then this webinar is for you so what is cyber security as per the wikipedia it is saying like uh, either computer security cyber security or information security all these three are actually interchangeable term so for the safer side i will use cyber security all the time so you can change it like sometime you can call it information security somebody will call it as a uh, computer security but overall uh, consider like cyber security is the latest term that you should use so i am using cyber security here so it is uh, talking about the protection of your devices your networks 
from any kind of damage from the digital uh, perspective right not from the physical perspective so in short it is the practice of protecting like how you can defend yourself so the same way how you can defend your uh, application your device or your network uh, all of those uh, sensitive information which can be stolen or which can be breached from digital attacks now so there are uh, many common skill sets uh, that we should at least before even moving into that cyber security field you should be aware this will help you to understand is this the real thing that you are looking for or it is just because somebody is telling you like there is a lots of jobs in cyber security uh, and it's a hot kick in the market you will get lots of package and uh, you can go to you know abroad so go ahead and learn it or is it really which interests you is it your passion right so you will uh, come to know about this once i finish uh, this webinar so my my uh, intention is to help you to guide you to understand like where exactly you should start if you want to start a career in cyber security right so the first thing is hacker mindset like you should always have an attitude to deep dive once you hear like there was some data breach uh, in in a, an application or in a cloud so instead of just get, uh, getting that knowledge or getting that information rather your mind says like how it happened what was the real problem and how it got fixed right so that type of attitude will help you more uh, to get success in this cyber security world and there will be a time where you will get frustrated because it is not simple like okay this is the task that you have to complete for example you have to complete you have to develop a login page logout page or uh, you are testing something as a tester right but here it's like either a zero or one so in between whatever efforts are there usually it is not visible uh, to the market unless and until you get success for example bug bounty hunters right they usually uh, maybe like for two or three nights they might not have slept but if they are not getting success they are not able to find any bug in uh, website their effort is gone right so uh, that's why uh, you should always have like never give up attitude and and have patience then understanding of various security concepts like even uh, you you should be aware like not just about spam phishing picky backing or what is there in uh, mobile security what is there in cloud security just a overview so uh, it's like you are working let's say as a penetration tester i will explain what is penetration tester uh, or or an ethical hacker you are trying to uh, defend an application but you must know other aspect as well like how it can be you know uh, how it can be protected from the developer perspective how it can be you know attacked from a hacker perspective so give uh, those kind of uh, attention to all the details whatever it's like either it is an api documentation or somewhere uh, something is written as a steps try to understand like what is there can i break something here whatever they are saying let's say uh, don't don't come through the window but or don't don't come through uh, the back gate are they only saying or they are also defending that right so that kind of attitude is required and adaptive in nature because 10 years back uh, cloud security was not that much important but nowadays cloud security devsecops itself is a new term right so in case if you want to uh, go from one uh, department to another department into cyber security so you have to be adaptive so yesterday i was learning pearl but today i see like python or even go uh, is the language where lots of uh, exploits are being written and uh, shared over github so you have to be a little bit adaptive and understand like okay i am flexible to learn this and always remember that security field is always uh, a journey where you would need to learn each day of course there are other field also uh, but in this field it is like more towards that so this was just to set like if you are coming into this domain what is the minimal thing even not technical or non technical the minimum like uh, attitude part right and then soft skill this is the most underrated skill i have seen uh, either i mean it's a software development field or any other field but in cyber security this is the most underrated one 
like people are very good in uh, uh, cracking something they are very good uh, as a uh, bug bounty hunters penetration testers or maybe they are also good at uh, documenting the things they are very good at writing the exploits but they are not able to uh, express themselves either through a mail so what actually you should write in a mail so that in a first attempt itself you get the bug bounty or any kind of rewards right how you communicate yourself to the other domain because your job will be talk to uh, testers talk to developers talk to uh, project managers or it's called cross team so communication skills matter also for your success in this domain and then how you negotiate it's not about just negotiating your uh, you know salary and uh, your hikes but also negotiating like this is priority one bug and developer has to fix it but let's say the developer or the other company is saying no this is not a bug this is a feature so how you will negotiate like no this is a, a problem with your website and either you need appreciation reward or to get fixed right so public speaking is one of the thing that i would recommend to go ahead and whatever you are learning try to share it uh, through online or join any uh, conferences speak there always says like you, you should fill your brain with the knowledge not the ego so this is what uh, we commonly say like thota chana baje ghana right so uh, i mean empty vessels sounds a lot so try to fill with the knowledge uh, whatever the security skill set that you have to cover and it can come from anyone even a eighth class student can teach us so many things so always be open uh, for the learning purpose now as a security person i mean windows uh, operating system is also there which anyways uh, majority of us uh, use in our college time and also we are using in the office time but from the security perspective understanding uh, linux os would help you to understand like how basically the files or the other parts are being compromised how this uh, directory traversal happens and uh, most of the tools applications you might need to learn from you know the console part so try to see can you run some command from your uh, terminal right so what are all the basic admin commands let's say you are uh, helping uh, someone to figure out like if your web server is safe or you want to install something and and you want to harden it you want to update or upgrade some application so how you would do that so just to figure out i mean everything is not ui based sometime it will be like a server based or a command line based so you should learn the basic part not i mean you don't need to go uh, deeper part like you don't need to understand uh, the inter internal part of the linux kernels but the basic commands you should know and computer network is uh, the most important uh, topic over uh, cyber security domain Uh, unless and until you are into uh, you know non hacking side uh, like compliance or audit side otherwise computer networking is required for each of the job profiles it's it's kind of you know uh, default skill, uh, skill set that they require and in computer network there are lots of things but the minimal thing that i suggest to go ahead is like tcp ip stack understand like what are all the different uh, places how the data are being flowed from one computer to another computer from one network to another network what is ipv4 and ipv6 what is your if i in case if i ask what is your ip address what is your local ip address what is your public ip address what is your private ip address so you should understand these kind of basic things what are all the different ip ranges are allowed in your network what are the common ports like for ftp for ssh for smtp uh, for your uh, website or for https right so uh, what is the uh, real meaning of ssl and tls what are the wireless uh, network concept that you should remember right. and, and so all these questions if you know then you will know like if you uh, open flexmind.co in your browser and it opens that website so what happened in between right so uh, if if you understand this kind of question this is more than enough for computer networking basics and then programming basic is uh, not so important for every uh, security professionals but there are lots of jobs for example exploit writers or 
uh, even a penetration tester, security automation, and nowadays like DevSecOps or uh, debugging your uh, uh, security tools. So programming basics are required, but not mandatory for all the jobs. So, uh, but the understanding of your any scripting language would help here. It's a shell script or even in Windows batch file. So understand like how to run a batch uh, script or a shell script. So you're comfortable with command line. If I give you one command, like uh, can you run this command? So you can, you know, like from where exactly you should open the terminal and how you should type. If it is a Python script, what you should write. If it is a Perl script, what you should write. If it is a Java script, how you should execute it. Right. Just the execution part, and that that's enough actually. And uh, uh, nowadays, most of uh, the security uh, scripts or the tools that I am seeing are either in Python or Go. So this is uh, the choice from the pro uh, uh, hackers community that you can learn Python or Go. Uh, Python is still like widely used, so start with Python, and if it interests you, maybe you can go for Go as well. Now, understanding JavaScript is very important, especially for uh, offensive and defensive security. So offensive security is also uh, known as like penetration tester or ethical hacking or bug bounty, where it will help you to figure out like if there is any kind of vulnerability in your front end, right? For example, accesses. Version control is something which I suggest people to go ahead uh, because maybe 10 or 15 years back, it was not that much mandatory for uh, non-developers. But nowadays, even you are a QA guy, you are a project manager, you are a scrum master, or you are anyone. Even as a student, uh, if you are on final year or third year, or you are a fresher, you might have uh, heard about version control. So the most common and uh, important or famous uh, version control is Git at present, at least. So what? why you should learn this? Well, you should learn this to keep all your you know, uh, documents, your scripts, your um, I mean, other project that you think like if I uh, you know, tomorrow, if, if it crashed, if your system is getting crashed or maybe uh, somewhere you have changed your code, but you don't know what was that earlier code. The new code is not working, but and now you need the uh, previous code. So you can track your code. It's not just about the code. You can track everything. So it's basically a, a version control system. So you can uh, make it like version one, version two. So version e one is for someone, version two is for someone. And it is easy to collaborate with other developers, hackers. So you are working on some project. It is an open source project or your private project. So you can uh, develop, um, I mean, maybe you are writing, uh, uh, you're developing a website. For example, so you can collaborate with your college students, with your seniors, friends, and you can develop this. So uh, go ahead and try to learn all those basic concepts, which I explained now, like Linux, computer networks, uh, Python or Go, and the version control. So uh, I have also authored uh, this course uh, on uh, Git basics, and it is available on FlexMind. Uh, so today, uh, maybe like uh, you guys uh, can do one thing. Uh, they, there are like we are uh, planning to. Uh, give away uh, five discount coupons uh, for the top contenders who can, you know, uh, write about us over social media. So you can take one thing. You can uh, take the screenshot of uh, any slide which uh, you like um, over the, this session. And once the session is finished, you can go ahead. Either uh, you can post that on Twitter or LinkedIn uh, by tagging me and uh, FlexMind. So the top five uh, people whose who's, uh, post actually uh, gets more uh, activities, we will share uh, uh, those discount coupons to them. So go ahead and uh, feel free to uh, give your feedback over social media after this session. Right. Now, once you know like what is uh, the basic cyber security and what are the common skill sets that that you think like okay everyone has to learn it so uh, what are all the different areas as i was explaining it is a penetration testing or it is a web application or it is a, uh, any other domains like cloud security so what are all those things and what comes under those divisions Right. So the first one and the, the most common one is web security. So you will ha hear uh, lots of things like it's a web security engineer job or cybersecurity engineer in short, we, we call that. Uh, 
so what what kind of uh, skill sets or what kind of jobs those people do so basically they try to defend the uh, web application from the attacker so it's like offensive part and defensive part now for that uh, the person has to understand how these web services work how api works how this uh, uh, request and response headers work how this authentication authorization work when you are logging in when you are logging out when you are signing up when you are registering somewhere you are you are trying to uh, edit the password how you are authorized to view any pages right so those kind of uh, uh, common uh, skills that they require and apart from that they also need to know like obas top 10 uh, which is open web application uh, uh, web, web security guide so there there are like lots of documents uh, being provided by them um, the most common one is testing guide and code review guide and you should be very comfortable with kali linux burp suite or any kind of uh, you know proxy testing uh, tools now these are uh, some of the things which might be totally new for you don't worry in that case because uh, this is meant to be like that so this is just like an awareness session like when you talk about web security or when somebody is talking about this so you should be able to understand now and differentiate like okay th this is what web security uh, is and this is what the other security divisions are and if i have the interest in web security then i have to learn this if i have a um, uh, you know yeah i mean passionate about uh, cracking the things then i should be in red team or penetration testing team or maybe i should if i am uh, very fresher and i just want to exploit the things maybe bug bounty is one of the things right and then application security so there is a very basic difference between web security and application security web security covers both offensive and defensive and application security when we talk application security it is mostly from the defensive perspective and there we were always talking how it can be breached how it can be you know uh, how it can break the application and how you can basically defend that application but even before that when you are in the designing phase you are in the coding phase there uh, this application security comes in so there are uh, many skill sets that is required for this application security and uh, the common thing you will hear about security secure software development life cycle just like we have sdlc in uh, software development so for security side it is called secure sdl and the main job of this people uh, this this kind of engineers are to help developers through their secure code training or by helping them learn Like how basically uh, you should which which kind of uh, libraries you should have used, which kind of uh, code that you can write for uh, basic secure uh, coding check, right? So there are lots of things called uh, secure design and uh, secure principles, and then about SCA, SAST. Uh, so all these things cover under that threat model is another uh, thing which is very important if you want to uh, you know join as an application security engineer. now the other one is network security now you see uh, in cyber security again i will not be able to cover all of those divisions but i am trying to cover the most common one because these are uh, the common uh, job profiles these are the common job areas where you can uh, you know start your career or we can you can start like hunting uh, for the jobs right so that's the reason i'm just covering uh, only the uh, uh, common uh, cyber security umbrella part so web security application security and then network security now those who are uh, more interested uh, towards computer networking or breaking the network breaking this wifi things breaking uh, the other part of uh, you know the infrastructure part so then you should uh, join as a network security engineer where uh, the common skill sets would be like running the network commands running uh, the tools like nmap uh you are very good at uh, network sniffing you know like how how basically man in the middle attack happens uh, you are very comfortable when i talk about uh, different ports uh, tls ssl uh, security things when i talk about encryption so if this excites you i think this is uh, the domain where you should go 
cloud security is again uh, it's gaining lots of popularity and uh, there are lots of job openings in this uh, division as well and uh, uh, the problem uh, with that is like there are lots of uh, job openings but there are very less skilled people in this domain so uh, this is also a very good opportunity for uh, you guys as a fresher or uh, uh, when you are still working uh, you are studying in college so this can be a good area where you can target uh, to go ahead and uh, learn whatever uh, the, the things are required for cloud security so the basic thing that i feel like you should know is how this security configuration happens in cloud security and how this cloud security is different from web security or application security right and uh, there are some new things uh, uh, new new concept are there in cloud security for example serverless and then uh, uh, logging and monitoring is uh, coming as an important part for cloud security people now again inside cloud security itself there are 10 different kinds of job profiles i am just covering the top part so if if you are more interested to know Uh, what 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 are all the different uh, job profiles under cloud security under application security or anything then uh, you are free to you know um, discuss all these things after this uh, session ends or also after that i mean if you want to uh, talk anything about this you want career guidance you want to uh, know like which course you should go ahead then you can always uh, uh, you know contact flexmind or to me anytime now the other one uh, which is still very new and uh, i mean in india i think there are very less jobs but lots of uh, job openings are coming as a devsec ops engineer so when when you talk about a devsec ops engineer again uh, you might have heard a rumor like uh, they pay very well and it's one of the toughest job in security side that may be true but also it's about your interest like to to go into the devsec ops domain basically you should have a devops culture mindset like you know like how uh, the things are uh, being deployed over the production or or how uh, your software is being built how this release management happens right so you should understand those devops culture and you are the person who always thinks about automation when you see something is getting repetitive you think about the automation if that comes to your mind i think devsec ops is the field where you should go and uh, you should be well versed with uh, lots of continuous integration tools like circle ci travis gitlab ci not all any one of these and again see uh, devs for devsec ops for uh, application security for cloud security programming language is must again not just like uh, not uh, from the algorithm or uh, uh, design structure part but you should be good at coding not just you should understand the code you should write also so so if if uh, you you are not afraid of uh, programming side as well these are the domains but there are also many job opportunities where there is no requirement of programming language or much technical details are required i will explain that also so those were five common now nowadays you will hear about uh, uh, this ai ml security where this uh, driverless car is there right so you have to do the security testing for that and then there is uh, uh, lots of medical devices which are connected over the network which comes under iot security and then th there are uh, lots of hardwares being used in electronics uh, domain or any other industries right so hardware security is also one of the things and if you are uh, like afraid of that coding and all uh, so these are the two last two security divisions where you can try compliance risk audit or commonly known as grc nowadays then uh, data privacy so there are like lots of uh, courses lots of uh, job profiles are there in this as well so i will show that as well now job profile categories so what is this penetration tester penetration tester is also known as ethical hacker and uh, the, there is a very basic difference between bug bounty hunters and penetration testers because bug bounty is just like you are uh, enrolling to a program either in uh, bug crowd or hacker one or maybe uh, you know different like sinecre team or any other uh, uh, you know private organization and you are uh, trying to figure out the vulnerabilities and you show them 
this is the vulnerability and you are getting rewarded but for as a pen tester it's like you mostly uh, you are into some organization or even if you are doing it as a consultant consultant you just not do what bug bounty were doing but also you have to create a report you have uh, to get involved with this mitigation process you have to uh, talk to different teams to developers so those kind of basic difference between these two then there is a role called information security analyst where uh, your job is to analyze if there is any kind of uh, uh, breaches happened or if there is any kind of security misconfigurations are there in the organization right so application security engineers as as there is application security division so now you know like why there is application security engineer so and in this division itself there are lots of job openings like senior application security engineer application security architect application security manager so once you ladder once you uh, i mean grow up in your uh, um, profile job and experience those job titles will change but the common skill set will be always same so application security engineer your job will be always uh, to train the developers to look over the secure coding you should do the manual code review you should uh, write security risk assessment report or you should write threat modeling right the similar way uh, for this uh, cloud security uh, engineer so in cloud security engineer your main job is to figure out if your infrastructure or cloud security environment is secured or not again inside that there are lots of uh, openings there and uh, lots of uh, job titles will be there i'm just covering one from that cloud security so devsecops as as i explained like you should uh, always think like what are all the different you know the security part under devops pipeline and then uh, from uh, non coding site there are uh, other jobs for example data privacy officers risk analyst audit manager compliance manager and uh, if something is there like you you are more interested to write more codes then uh, like low level language for example c programming or even assembly language or uh, you are more interested towards that uh, malware ransomware viruses then there are like expert researchers malware analyst and uh, there are some roles where if you are uh, aware about the basic of security but you are you, you are not uh, so much into deep into that security division maybe you can look for that uh, program manager role and there are many others so i am covering just very few and uh, i am not covering any uh, books related to any of those uh, uh, umbrellas that i explain web security network application none of these this is just before even starting your career in cyber security try to understand what uh, you know cyber security covers so these are the book that you can try uh, all books are like kind of uh, uh, for the beginners or you know uh, for the freshers and developers but not only uh, that part i mean not limited to that only for example secure by design and security engineering even uh, as an architect also they refer this but there are book like uh, cyber effect cyber or security cyber security for dummies or thinking security or even there are a book called ghost in the wires i mean the person who was an it professional and then how uh, he became such a notorious hacker that even the whole fbi was looking for him right so kevin mitnick is the guy and uh, these these books are uh, uh, written from the you know the basic i mean the beginner perspective so they don't go in much detail uh, deep techniques but it's very good book to read about the cyber security hacking and how uh, you know uh, those kind of breaches were happening that time and then uh, yeah uh, this is my bookshelf uh, i think i took the picture last year so some of the books that i explained are here as well now certifications people will you will hear about ceh uh, oscp and uh, then uh, there are like lots of aws security or maybe devsecops professionals you will hear uh, you know vendor based like cisco checkpoint and juniper based so there are lots of certifications and these are the certifying bodies like comptia have security plus ec council the most famous was in ceh isc square has ciss p 
CSA also cloud security alliance have some certification isaka has certification sans has uh, uh, those certifications offensive security oscp is one of them then lots of vendors are providing uh, security certifications and then uh, practical devs this is also one of the certification which is uh, now many people are trying for we were want to uh, make a career in devsecops domain e learn security you might have heard about ejpt or ewpt if you have not uh, heard about it that's fine because again i'm saying it's for totally beginners and this is just to showcase you these are the certifying bodies available so now after the session you can do a google search and you uh, based on your uh, you know interest and passion uh, whatever divisions i have shown you can go any one of that or maybe all of that so there are lots of uh, you know places from where you can uh, start learning uh, about all these online coursera udacity uh, edxr anyways uh, the famous tools apart from that there are acloud.guru cybrary or uh, security tube is also good for uh, security purpose and youtube anyways is uh, free uh, learn and how i can forget flexmind because it's also it, it's very uh, new in self paced courses but they are providing lots of uh, courses and support to uh, you know the freshers students and as uh, nazir explained uh, in the corporate training and they are the people who are not just selling the online courses rather they are uh, helping the uh, i mean students their students also to learn and if you have any questions you can ask them and uh, with the course author or even the flex mind team itself will be able to help you which is like a kind of unique in this domain where in other uh, websites you see like you you uh, buy a course for example i am buying a course from udemy or from coursera but if i need to understand uh, if i want to understand something and i want to talk to the course author it's very tough i i'm, I'm not i'm not sure like if you have uh, gone through this but from udemy i have uh, discussed lots of people but i didn't get the response from the course author right so those are the challenges flexmind is trying to cover and uh, helping people in that way and most of their courses are hands on based practical based it's not like theory so majority of the uh, uh, coursera or udacity part i have seen like lots of theories are there uh, but practical aspects are not there i mean job ready courses are not there so flexmind is at least trying that so apart from knowing all these things now you learn um, you are aware about that you are certified in some certifications but still you are struggling to find out the job you know why because networking is also the important part of your you know the success so try to connect with the people um, from the same interest from the same domain right either on linkedin and twitter and as a student if you have not created a linkedin and twitter profile go ahead create those and then take the screenshot of this share uh, with us like what you learned today what was the best part of it or uh, is there any suggestions feedback for you right and then connect the people on linkedin and twitter join some of the local chapters maybe there will be some local chapters in your region uh, like null chapter ovas chapter b sites chapter these all are for the security Uh, side if you want to find out uh, what are all the different uh, jobs are available into the security domain just look for jobs.null.co.in and you can attend uh, lots of uh, internal uh, security events uh, for example nullcon that happens uh, in india nullcon goa and then defcon black hat that happens in us ovasc sites happen worldwide then you you just meet all those like minded people and uh, try to contact them try to ask uh, the uh, the questions make some mentor find out uh, who can help you and try to learn try to grow once you you are into like 5 years or 10 years of experience you have learned lots of thing from this community now try to give back to the community so th this is how uh, i mean i will say like i learned from my mentors still i have uh, a one mentor who is uh, uh, helping me to grow further so and now as he was helping me i am trying to help others 
bookmark few security sites few websites or maybe you can bookmark flexmind.co you can bookmark uh, their twitter uh, handle that you can bookmark their youtube channel yes they have youtube channel as well and uh, where they have uh, explained lots of things about not just about python security linux or git but about azure aws as well so now after this you may feel excited and you go ahead and you will start learning so now you are almost at phase one like you're damn sure like now these are some easy thing and uh, i will read this book i will go i will complete all these skills and you will be you know ready to rock but then suddenly uh, you know you start asking question or try to uh, develop your you know uh, some kind of practical aspect and then you realize Oh, I think like I don't know much about that and then frustrations comes in and that's the reason I said never give up attitude should be there So and then there will be some insecure zone like you will feel oh my god uh, My friend is uh, doing so well in this security domain someone got bug bounty uh, prize and I'm not getting it and That guy is getting uh, just in 10 days, but even it's uh, I'm working from last one month I didn't get anything so that is the most difficult zone where you have to crack it and you realize like you, sh you should not compare with others you should only compare with yourself like yesterday how much you learned today how much you grew up so realize that and realizing uh, that like you know what is the uh, the thing that you should not uh, uh, i mean know and you should know right and based on that you start learning again with a good confidence and with a proper road map then the step 5 is your grow up career starts from there so this is called uh, i think uh, uh, dunning kruger uh, effect so everyone feels that everyone goes through that either you are an engineering student or uh, you are having 10 or 15 years of experience you will go through this graph try to reach fifth one fourth is the most difficult one once you reach fifth one you will you will rock in whichever domain you go Right. So these are uh, some of our uh, FlexMind channels, um, social media channels where you can follow them. Uh, this is the YouTube link, and then this is a LinkedIn uh, link. FlexMind Happens Solutions. You can follow them on Twitter. Uh, again, I will again recommend and suggest also go ahead and uh, take the screenshots. If you have not taken, I will share again some of the slides while taking the questions from you. Go ahead. Take the screenshot, uh, write something, write a feedback, and based on that, based on your uh, retweets or LinkedIn uh, messages, we will figure out like uh, who who are the top five guys whom we should give the uh, this GitHub course for free. So if you are interested to learn GitHub course, you must retweet or you must follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn and share your feedback. So that's all from my side. Uh, now, if if there are uh, some questions, then then I will uh, take those questions. And you can write any of your queries anytime to learning at flexmind.co. Don't hesitate. We are here to help you. We are here to guide you. So we we'll do that. And follow me as well in different social channels. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Please let me know if this video was helpful for you and you learned something. I would encourage to comment your feedback so that it will encourage me to create more videos like this.